Thank you so much for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Today, we want to show you how to make coffee on a Chemex coffee maker. How about that? Simple, simple as it just could be. Maybe the best coffee you will ever have in your life. That's right. And it would be cheapo, cheapo. Well, not Maybe necessarily not. cheap. So we will, good. that's right. So my wife and I, we have kind of a custom. I try to make two coffees for my sweetheart every day. I think that's a great and idea. And for himself. And for myself. I think that's a great idea as a couple to spend some time together, especially as a couple who loves the Lord. And uh, we love to spend about half an hour twice a day. So I want to show you how to make a nice coffee. And uh, this is a Camex coffee maker. Mm -hmm. I have a Cattle, it's, it's about $160. No, 100 well, 30 Yeah. And how much was this one? That's about 50 It's about $50. Uh, you better calculate that well because I broke two already. But you save money over the long run. Yes. With not having to buy coffees from a specialty shop. That's right. But you have to be really careful with this guy. You hit that granite just like that and it shatters in pieces. And that's okay. No, it's not. Um, also, what's important also is to make sure that this is the gooseneck. It's much easier to pour into the, into the coffee. Garden. Yes, you make sure that you have that. And also you have one which shows you the temperature. I will show you that a little bit later. This is a filter. This is a filter which we bought for years. Uh, it's, it's just a paper like this, but we can't find it anymore and it's expensive. So what we, what somebody told us in the States when we were there lately, they showed us from material, just a filter, just like that. And this one, we have used this one at least 100 times already, and it works perfect. You cook it once a week. You cook it for about 10, 15 minutes. So that's it for the filter. And now I want to show you how we will make this coffee. I will, I will make this water hot. We have a GoPro. And my sweetheart will use the GoPro just to get a close shot so that you can see how we, how we make it. And I want you to, to try this at home. This is as good as going to a Tim Hortons or going to a Starbucks coffee. I tell you, it is amazing. And uh, first of all, I want my wife to tune in here very close. This is our cattle that has to be 93 Celsius. It's just before cooking. You don't want the water to be cook, cooking when you, when you brew the coffee because that kills it. That's what we were told. So if you do it 93 Celsius, just before cooking, and that's perfect. So I will show you how I do this. I will put the coffee in here. And this is, this is real coffee. Beans. Beans. This is perfect coffee. All right. This is actually Starbucks coffee, but we are going to try and get away from it and go with fair trade coffee, which is organic and better for the farmers. Yeah, we should show that to you. This is what we have bought now, and uh, we think that's that's real. That's fair. This is fair trade coffee. Yes. So if you want nice coffee like that uh, instead Starbucks, that would be great. So what I want to show you is I want to show you how to make it. So I will put. So I make two coffees, each one coffee. So I, I do usually four spoons. For two people. For two people. So that's four. And then I grind it. So it takes me at least 15 minutes to make a coffee. But I think that's worth it. Just relax a little bit and you don't have to sit in the office and just go and do your coffee. So I will put this filter in here now. I'm going to add something in here. We have watched a YouTube video about how to do this kind of coffee. And there, they're more technical. They tell you exactly how many grams the coffee should be and how much water to put in and exactly weighing everything out. We're doing everything kind of what it looks like. 
you get used to doing it so you don't need to do grams you don't need to weigh anything it's actually more simple than what they show you on the other youtube videos yes so this should be a very simple way how to do it so i will dump it in here yeah this is really simple you will not weigh it off so we had four four coffees in here now so now i want to show you how to do this this is the tricky part I have the water now at 93 Celsius. So for the start, I will just put, pour a, just a little bit of water in here, just like that it gets wet. It's called blooming. So now I will let it for one and a half minutes bloom like this. So while it is blooming, it kind of soaks the water in it. And then when I start pouring later, slowly, all the way, it will not be bitter. See, that is the trick. And I just want to let you know, when we were in the States a few years ago, actually four years ago, we were in the States and there was no Tim Hortons there at that, at that place. But the home where we stayed for a night, there was a lady there, she made coffee. And she asked my wife and I if we would like to have a coffee. There was a coffee flavoring uh, liquid on a table. When I saw that, I said yes, because I knew if the coffee wasn't too good, I would just use that and dump it in there and that would taste good. So once she had made it, they gave us the coffee. It was unbelievable. I said to my wife, that is amazing. I wonder how, how that woman made that coffee so good. And then later she said, would you like to have another one in the afternoon? I said right away, yes. And she made us a second one. And then she showed us how to do it. And then we went home and then we went on YouTube and checked it out and we took a lesson on it and I learned how to do it. So now my one and a half minute is done. So I will just start pouring it and keep talking here. So this is how you pour it. This is very important. You just start pouring. That's why you need a gooseneck like that, that you pour it very gentle right into the middle and then you start turning it. Just like that, very gentle, and then keep turning from the inside out. So that lady made us a second coffee, and I was so excited about it. We drove home, and we learned how to do it ourselves. Went and bought all the paraphernalia that we would need for it. Yes, and since then, I have always made kind of a perfect coffee. If you haven't tried this kind of stuff yet, my wife and I, we travel a lot in Canada and the States and also a lot international, as maybe some of you know. We cannot take it to Germany or to Japan, New Zealand or Australia. But when we travel in the States and Canada, we take our coffee along. <laughs> if you go to a hotel, we make our Tim Hortons or uh, Starbucks coffee right there and the taste as good as that. You have to do it really slow because you don't want to let it run over the edge here and run back in. So that's why, and, and keep turning. You want the coffee, once that's soaked through it, you want that stay, that coffee staying on, on a wall, see, on the outside wall. Edges. On the edges, yes. So we thought we would do something different here for you guys, just to show you. I think it's important, as I said at the beginning of the video, as a couple, just to spend some time together. And this is what we do with our coffee. Just sit for half an hour, no gadgets, no telephone, and just have a great time. And I see that my husband forgot to put his apron on. Yeah. It's right behind you. Yep. I should have had this on. I wanted to show you that I could have something like this too. Okay, now we pour this nice coffee in here. Wow, this will be absolutely amazing. That is how you make a Chemex coffee. We enjoyed getting together and, and, and just sharing a little bit about our and discussing things about what we're going to be doing, our plans for the future. 
our goals. We do all of that usually while we have our coffee and we usually sit by a window so we can look outside and enjoy God's beautiful creation. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. I hope it was a blessing to you. We wish you and your family a blessed day with the Lord.